Has your Citroen C1 exhaust back box dropped down? If you were driving along, you probably heard it as a loud clunk. And when you continue to drive along, you probably hear a rattling like this. You might even hear a tizzing noise that sounds a bit like this, if you can hear it above the uh, engine. Luckily, it won't drop down and scrape along the floor because the loop that the pipe takes over the uh, rear beam axle uh, stops it from doing so. And the clunking you can hear is the pipe rattling on the beam axle as you drive along. A lot of people will just drive straight into an exhaust replacement centre, get a new back box fitted. And indeed, I've seen on some of the uh, Bug Life forums that that's exactly what people say to do. Oh, you need a new exhaust. Well, I'm going to show you two temporary methods of uh, repairing this to make the car drivable, along with another third, what I consider to be a much more robust method that will last a bit longer. So come on through, let me show you how. The first method, and something you can probably achieve whilst you're out on the road, if, uh, if this happens when you're away from home, is if you can manage to call into a garden centre and get some galvanised steel garden wire. Now, you, like I say, you can probably achieve this in the car park at your local garden centre, because fortunately these cars are not so low that you can't get at this underneath. If you do find yourself struggling a little bit and you'd like some extra height, top tip, find yourself a quiet little bit of road and uh, put the two wheels up on a kerb so that the kerb is just here and uh, you'll give yourself um, a kerb's height worth of extra room underneath. Whatever roll you get, temporarily, just, just hang the roll on the exhaust pipe and, un and unreel some off. And you could unreel it first, of course. A metre to a metre and a half, put your roll on there. Take your coil, take it forwards, bring it back round. Take it through your rubber hanger now, when you get to this stage, make sure you've got a nice bend in the wire here and then push your exhaust upwards till your box is around about level and pull your wire through the rubber and then just keep going. If you can manage to get about two metres uh, off the roll, you might find you can get three or four loops. Obviously, the more loops you put on it, the stronger it'll be and the longer it might last. When this first happened to us, I used this method. I had four or five loops of wire and it lasted about a month or so. It, it rubs, as the, as the exhaust bounces around a little with driving, it rubs on the, uh, on, on the rough pipes, which of course have got some rust on them uh, and it soon wears through. But, but it'll get you home or uh, get you through a weekend away or something. And you can just leave the reel there. That's not gonna come off because of the way the loop comes out of it. So that's the first, so that's the first method. It'll keep you going anyway, and, you, and you've always got the rest of this reel to go at if it should break again. So what causes this problem in the first place? Well, the standard exhaust has a hanger welded onto it on this front pipe just here. If I use this piece of wire here to represent that hanger, it's got a slight bend in it, and it's welded to the pipe here, and the hanger, goes through goes through the rubber hanger welded to the pipe there and holds it up in position now because of the relatively small size of the engine and the distance back from the engine to to this area where the box is th these pipes run quite cold so what happens is the water that you get and chemicals off the road congregate here and cause corrosion and the mild steel hanger snaps and down comes your box there's really not much you can do about it and of course this corrosion happens long 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 before the box has ever got anywhere near the end of its useful life so, so you end up wasting a lot of money purchasing a new exhaust when there's plenty of life left in this if you're getting value from this video don't forget to like it down by the title the second and somewhat more robust temporary solution that I want to show you is this one here, where I've taken two 70 to 90 millimeter uh, Jubilee type clips and put one around the two pipes here 
and then another one through the uh, rubber hanger although you could take it straight over the metal hanger uh, and and round the loop of clip in the middle here and then tighten them both up a little bit that works very nicely uh, you can you can adjust the height at which it's held at but the vibration that it suffers through normal driving uh, means that it is only a temporary solution uh, as you can see on this one here the lower jubilee has broken uh, frayed through it lasted about six to eight months maybe uh, and this car does typically does around eight to ten thousand miles a year but but it lasts long enough to get you through an mot it's robust enough i think to get you through an mot so worth a try and also cheap two two jubilee clips at maybe a couple of pound a piece not much more than 10 minutes work and you're done of course if you are away from home and you're not able to do this yourself you can't get hold of the materials or maybe you're not physically able then of course if you're a member of one of the rescue organizations call them out most rescue vans have got some some kind of materials on board that they could probably do this with so now on to the third and what I consider to be a somewhat more robust method uh, that should, should last a, a goodly time. Get yourself an exhaust hanger. Now this one is just what I happen to have in the garage. It's a 64 millimeter exhaust uh, clamp. But you could probably do this with a, a 50 millimeter clamp or slightly larger. I don't think I'd want to do it with anything smaller. Take the two nuts off put the clamp over this end pipe and bring it next to the box now depending on how far the thread extends down the uh, loop you might need some m8 washers so i'm going to put two fairly thick washers on each side put a nut on the lower thread but just wind it on about a centimeter and then with the upper thread lift up your box and put the bolt through through the rubber put another washer on and put your nut on then with the right size spanner which is likely to be an eight millimeter run the nuts down a bit tighter they won't go tight on this upper one because of the rubber of course all you're doing is squashing the rubber but if you turn it on five or six threads don't worry about squashing the rubber because that can always be replaced at a later date with a new exhaust and then tighten up the lower and what you'll find your your clamp is is holding onto the pipe just here and of course this nut and washer stops the whole thing from sliding out of the rubber hanger and there you go you've got a decently long lasting repair if you can get a couple of extra nuts and use them as uh, lock nuts against these nuts then even better you know tight tighten two two nuts together to lock it all up but that should hopefully last even longer than the jubilee clip method i'm hoping it'll last a year or so maybe even two uh, we'll see from today and i'll uh, i'll try and remember to report regularly in the comments how, how we're going with it if you got value from this video and it's got you out of a pickle i hope you'll consider supporting the channel links in description and i shall see you next time